39 kill win has got to start at Grim Gate. Best medallion in the game. Best mythic in the game. Oh, we're choosing to drop the outskirts, though. That's interesting. Most of the players dropping big games today were dropping straight in the heart of it, going straight onto the god chest. So this is re-dropping a 39 kill win in finals. Now, mind you, I thought the 40 bomb race was over. We had the race That's last season. Who was the first player to get a 40 bomb? I thought this season, no infinite mobility, no medallions with constant healing. There was going to be no chance at a 40 bomb. And Reet manages to get 39. Again, mind you, the highest kill win I saw today on EU or NA was 22. So my man almost got double the next highest kill win on the two major regions. Like, this game is insane. I don't think we're going to get many other 30 bombs this season. I'm going to be honest. So we got to savor it. Wait, his first kill of the game was paper as well. Okay, good thing you got him out early because having another grand finalist in your lobby trying to drop a 40 bomb is near impossible. I'm interested to see what, what shotgun reap mains. I think it's going to be the gatekeeper, I think, but we'll have to see. Only a few people dropped Grim Gate. Are we going to instantly start the boss? No, okay. 75. Oh! Okay. Very sketchy start for an almost 40 bomb. Okay. All right, I think that was the only one other person here at the PY. The problem with the new Mythic PY is that a lot of players drop just outside and rotate and make it an absolute nightmare to try and lock down the boss. And you can have what happened to Marius today, where even if you get the boss, it doesn't spawn. You get the friggin' altar glitch where you just can't start the boss. 86 alive though still, so this lobby is looking solid. Alright, Reed is committing to the boss very early. Very, very early. Now, most of the pro players are dropping back inside the POI and drawing the boss in rather than taking the fight in the open. Reed is going for a very, very aggressive strategy here. This strat is a little bit sketchy. Very easy to rock up and third party him right now. Head snipe, Zeus's lightning bolt, pretty much anything. Reet choosing to play very ballsy, but this is much, much quicker. If you're trying to drop a 40 bomb, I guess every second counts. Man, these bosses like... Oh, there we go. Okay. There's the third party we were expecting. Oh, and there's the lightning bolt. Oh, no. Oh, nice movement from Reet. Very nice. Damn. Really sketchy start to a 40 bomb. It was almost over a few times. Nice use of the, uh, the underworld dashing, though. Is that another third party? Another player showing up as i was mentioning man the rats at these pois are crazy everyone lands outside and then rotates in late oh the low grav piece nice okay that's four kills that's good four kills off spawn right now is very solid start in this meta all right very very quick medallion grab for reed now do we instantly push hades for siphon medallion or do we key towards the center of the map for more kills this is the trade-off this season. Do you invest more time to rotate towards the edge, get less kills, but then you get the Siphon Medallion, which in the long run will enable you to play more aggressive for longer? That is the question. And it looks like we're going towards Hades. Yep. All right. We're trying to lock oh, down Andrews. Siphon and Cerberus Medallion as quick as possible. All right, I don't think Reed's very locked in right now, but... <laughs> so, if you guys want a pro tip as well, if you show up to a Mythic POI and the altar is still there, it means the boss hasn't been finished yet. And now you've got the health bar at the top of the screen, obviously, as well. But if you want to tell from the minimap before you get close, that's how you know. Oh, here we go. Third party p potential. This player's going to have no idea because of visual audio with the NPCs. Reed's a couple tags. Oh, and we are just straight in. We don't even need to use the medallion. Wow. All right, well... Okay, so we've now locked down Siphon and Movement. And we have it. We know the player's here. Okay, I have zero clue this player was here. Oh, all right, six kills, double medallion, gold SMG, Mythic Shotgun. Again, interesting that Reed is choosing to run the gold burst SMG over the new Mythic SMG. I'm not completely surprised, but... All right, let's see it. 71 players alive, too. We got a really good lobby for this. This game is not dying out, at least off spawn anyway. So Hades drops a mythic SMG, but it's not the burst SMG. So so this is a strat. If you guys don't know, every time you drop the Cerberus medallion, you instantly gain an ability when you pick it up. So if you, if you waiting, for, instead of waiting for the next charge to regenerate, you can drop it and pick it up and you'll instantly gain one. It also works like that in duos. And you do not take full damage when you dash. All right, let's see if Reed's going to do the dash phase-ins. No, okay. 
So Reed's still choosing to play peace control rather than just dash straight in with the medallion. Makes sense when you're on that hard zero ping as well. That is why the burst SMG, I think, will also still be supreme, though. The bleed damage is so good. So many shots go through the walls every time. 5-5-5. Five, five, five. We have the perfect loadout right now. I think big pots for med kits, and we would have the perfect loadout right now. But with the way we're playing, honestly, big pots probably better. We're playing more aggressive. Oh. Oh, we got to kill stolen. That could have been the 40 bomb. It's going to be so sad. Every time we see him lose a kill, we just have to know that was the 40 bomb. Reed doesn't know yet, but we know. Bit of spoilers. Surprised there's this many players over towards Lavish. Getting really lucky there's this many players out here, or I guess Reed just maybe knows how players are dropping this season more than I do. Oh, straight in. Nice. That Cypher medallion looking really good right now for the pacing. We can just keep playing aggro. Still, still definitely worse than the old medallions for King. The old medallions were just so nice. That passive healing and, oh, 50 HP. 10 elims. I think this might be the fastest I've seen someone get to 10 kills this season. 61 opponents left. Gonna try and take down 30 of them. This is now the record. This is now the tied record for most amount of kills in a solo victory finals. He has now tied the record with Peterbot, who has also got 39. But that was last season. And realistically, I think everyone's gonna tell you last season was a lot easier for high kill wins. I, I did not expect anyone to even drop a 30 bomb today. I was thinking it might be possible, but after EU struggled to even get 23, I thought there was no chance NA was going to drop a 39 kill game. Oh, Reed trying to go for the pre-piece. Blocks him off. This guy's playing very aggressive. Quick edits trying to go for that big shot. Reed just playing distance is how you take down these kind of players. Reed playing slow and methodical. Holds the right hands and beautiful plays from Reed. Nice. Nah, I disagree. Dash Medallion's good, chat, but infinite grapple's still better. You gotta remember, everyone having infinite mobility like the grappler also means that bad players stay alive longer because they can run away. Now they can't. This is definitely a harder meta to drop a 40 bomb. At least in my opinion. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty confident on this one. Same with having the new medallions. The new medallions are much worse at keeping players alive. The siphon is nice, though. Getting Hades siphon is very, very nice. Just gives you that instant top up because the old medallions only got you, like, well, the new medallions only got you to 150, the ones at the end of last season. We haven't actually seen Reap really use the medallion at all in the fight. I haven't seen him use the zero point dashes in a fight. It's pretty much just to rotate to the fight and then he takes the fight as normal. A lot of the other pros have been watching me using this to phase in, take height. Like, they've been a lot more active with the zero point mid fight. But I kind of like this more from Reed. It's a bit more controlled. We almost didn't qualify for finals, by the way. Reed left until his last game to even qualify for the finals to then go on to almost get a 40 bomb. That is a good point, though. You're right. Back to the point of last season versus this season. Without the grapple, it does mean it's harder for other players to run from you. That is a good point. Once you get to the fight, it is much easier to lock them down now. I'll admit, that's a very good point. I mean, hey, time will tell. We'll see how next week goes. Our usual culprits, though, like Peterbot, Poyo, Polarized, Cold, ain't none of them were dropping even close to 30 bombs today, is all I'm saying. This regame was an anomaly. It came out of nowhere. I think, wait, no, I think Peter dropped a 29, actually. I think Peter dropped a 29. So that is, that is close. Nice. 14. 52 left. It's looking like Reed's definitely comfortable with a new shotgun too. I thought Pump was going to be the shotgun of choice for the pros, but I was very wrong. Gatekeeper has been almost every pro's shotgun of choice so far. Ooh, even without the extended mag as well. The quick reload mag is very nice on this mythic though. It's fast. All right, we're taking our time. So Reed actually waiting long enough to pop full meds rather than just jumping in. Oh, nice. We're not getting third party a lot, which is interesting as well. All right, island spawn. I don't think we're going to go for the island. Island might be nice to just get rifts for more mobility, but I definitely don't think we're going for the island. We also don't even have a laser on this burst SMG as well. So this burst SMG could actually be better right now. Oh, 
Ooh, okay. Really could smell him. Oh, oh, one of the first instance, instances of Reed actually using the dash mid-fight. So far, I'm making the lobby look pretty free. Like, this hasn't been completely AI lobby, but to be fair, Marius' win today on EU, the players looked worse. I know the EU-NA debate is going to be going on for forever of how much easier NA lobbies are to drop these high kill games. We got a zone. The zone's pulling pretty far northwest. So we're sitting on very congested edge right now. Most of the players will be rotating up into this edge. Also, pro tip, if you're low on metal and you rotate through this POI, all those flags on the edge of that building that Reed was just on, each one of them gives you 50 metal. There is, I think, 4,000 metal in this POI alone. Just so you know. Okay, now we're starting to try to use the dash to phase in. Still not a lot, though. Oh, no. Now this guy is straight running. This will be a little bit annoying. We're trying to keep people. If they get into the, the river sticks and they can just jump, jump constantly. Nice. Never mind. Not if you do that. Oh, Ares medallion. All right. Three of four medallion. We're only missing Zeus now, I believe. Yeah. And it looks like Zeus is somewhere near us right now. We might be getting all four medallions with 40, with 40 plus players alive. Jeez. <laughs> Making a YouTube video out of it. Oh, so we see that there's players on the island. We're choosing not to key. I guess they are boxed up in a lot of material. It's probably not worth trying to fight a player with that many boxes already built when there's easier targets out here. Oh, the island rift. Unlucky. Man, every single player that runs like this, I can't help but think, damn, if we got this person, this was the 40 bomb. Oh, Reek's landing low to try and beam him. Reek confident in his aim here. Let's see it. Never mind. Oh, can't seem to find him. He hits another... I think that player hits another rift. Or they've just disappeared. Re is fully locked in. I don't think I've seen Re this locked in in a while. Usually, Re is just joking around. Talking crap. Usually, a couple complaints coming out of Re as well. This, he's just fully locked in right now. Oh, can't take the wall. Zero ping for what? Nice. Gets the cone in first. Takes the wall. Finally puts him down. 19 kills. We're about to get 20 kills with 40 players still alive. Reed was saying in my chat that he tossed the 40 bomb and I thought it was Reed just, you know, talking shit. He actually realistically could have easily gotten the 40 bomb here. Like, this is nuts. Yeah, players being unable to run with the without the grapple is the main difference I'm seeing here from this season to last. Once a fight starts, so much quicker to close it out. When you've got the ping and the mechanical advantage. Players can't just keep grappling. That's 20. 20 kills. 40 opponents left. Jeez. Sorry, Spencer. Yo, apparently Reed knows who that is. That's a Zone Wars wager Reed just put down. Alright, Zone pulling far north here. This is good. It's going to pull away from the uh, the Underworld. I feel like the dash endgames will probably be a little bit annoying if you're trying to drop a high kill game. Everyone's just zapping around and jumping everywhere. Oh. Reed slips off high ground. Could go for a chop. Ah, Reed choosing a build battle this one. Zone War's coming out. Oh, this guy looks pretty decent. Trying to go for pre edits too. This guy's actually pretty solid and oh, nice angle from Reed. That's definitely the Zone War's experience right there. Jumps into his blind spot and then flies out from the low ground with a big pump. All right, 21. Yeah, the Siphon is keeping the pace going so quickly. This Siphon medallion is really nice. Yeah, this was pace for a 50 bomb, literally, which is just absurd. Endgame's always the hardest, though. Remember, like I said, because other players... You got to remember, last season, players didn't really have to learn how to play endgames properly. They could just grapple every rotate. As soon as you go from a high mobility meta to a low mobility meta, people just forget how to play endgames. They just get stuck in zone. They rotate too late. They shoot everything that moves, even when they're not in zone. And that leaves the lobby dying quicker. And it makes it a lot harder to drop high kill wins. So we'll see how fast this endgame dies out. But I think that's probably what sells the 40 bomb here. We're still running. We're still running no med kits. But I mean, six splashes is very nice in case we take any white damage, especially with Siphon. Don't even know how much health he's gained from Siphon this game. He's gotten 20, he's gotten basically almost 20 kills worth of Siphon, but I don't know how much of him he actually needed. All right, we got all four medallions. We are God. We are not a God, we are the God. 
We are all of the gods. Oh, there we go. Getting third party. The spray in the back. So far, the sketchiest things have looked for Reet right now. Stuck up against the mountain. We're in zone, but the third party is being a little bit pesky. This was Brother Fax? No way Brother Fax was spraying Reet. My man was selling the 40 bomb. We're down to only five builds. I didn't even notice. I didn't even look at the material. Wait a second. This was actually sketchy. Brother Fax is still spraying. Oh, there we go. All right. Big Matt refresh. That'll top us up. Still only a little over 500. Not as many as you'd like, but definitely better than 50. 36 alive. This game is not dying out at all. Dude, this game would have had Storm Surge on the new Storm Surge, despite Reet having 23 kills. The rest of this lobby played so passive. Just Reet, and no one else is getting any kills. Yeah, Reed's got a big target on his back right now with the four medallions. He's got a precise location on the map. If, you, if you've seen Reet in the feed, and all of a sudden there's a, a very small circle, someone has four medallions, you know, and I would be focusing him as well. Only 270 material right now. If you guys remember, if you're OG on the Aussie Antics content, I remember coaching Faxity in DreamHack Opens years ago, like Stark season. And we were trying to get Fax to qual for his first round two. And Reet was in the lobby. And my man had to burn every single shockwave running away from a focus skin. And it turned out to not even be Reet. One of, the, one of my fondest memories in content was coaching Fax in that tournament. 30 alive, 24 kills. This 40 bomb is looking extremely doable at this point. Oh, this player's got really good ping. Jeez. Oh my god. Dude, we moved to Dallas for what? Holy sh**. Who is this? Oh my god. My man is in the server. He is at Epic Games headquarters. Reed has basically as, almost as hard zero ping as you can get on Central. And my man just held like seven of seven walls. What the? Oh, we still put him down. TikTok. My man's got a TikTok account though. Oh, another freebie. Wait a second. Oh, this is going to be a fast-paced endgame. I can already tell. There is still 26 players alive. Oh, big beams. Even without the laser. Nice. Man, Reef's average time to kill so far in rotating zones is looking very good. This is normally where the 40 bombs come unstuck. We've got really good material now as well. So there's nothing we need. We can pretty much just keep keying. Oh, the third party. Nice. He puts himself, but forces the opponent to go between him and the lobby. Pins him and applies the pressure. Nice positioning. The problem is I'm expecting a lot of players to die on this rotate now because of the no mobility. We'll see. But I'm guessing a lot of those players stuck on backside. They're about to die fighting each other. Oh, okay. Facts that he no, uh, brother we'll facts. From brother, <laughs> brother facts jumps in and just <laughs> instantly goes down. I'm not gonna lie, facts looking like a bit of a flopper at the moment. That was not a good play by facts at all. All right, 30 bomb, 30 elims, 18 alive. Man, this 40 bomb was so doable. Some lobbies just feel like it was impossible to get the 40 bomb no matter what you did, but this was very doable. Oh, I'm noticing a lot that Reed, a lot of these times is actually not going to replace the wall and is instead going to try and shoot the player before they place the wall. I, I've seen Reed do it like six or seven times this game. It's definitely deliberate. Oh, we got someone using the wings. Yeah, now we've dropped down 15 players alive. Reed gets another kill. Let's see how good this medallion is for taking high ground. This quick, this reload right, right now, I think the mythic shotgun is actually better than extended mag. It's only got three shots, not five, but with the, the speed at which Reed is reloading this, and the pressure you can apply with the SMG, this shotgun is perfect for endgame. Like, these reloads are, like, instant. Oh, my God. Well. We have to get every... No, we have to get almost every remaining kill. We can only let one more go down. 14 builds. 14 wood builds. 11 brick. Retaking the high ground for a bit of a breather. We got to get in, though. 1 HP? That could have been the kill. All right, there we go. We get it. Six of the next seven for the 40 bomb. The windmill almost saving this opponent. Inches, interestingly, I don't think we've seen Reed do a single dash phase in. And oh, takes down. A oh, I, th I thought I said, was that 20? That wasn't 20, right? Reed almost goes down up against the wall. Has to hit the pump shot. Oh, that's it. Wait, four of the next five. We have to get every remaining kill. Oh my God. 
three left. I know Reed doesn't drop the 40 bomb, and I'm still so no. excited. No, there it is. No. He actually didn't really miss out on that many kills. No. There's only like two kills that Reed had that he could have gotten for the 40 bomb, honestly. Like, this was rough. Reed played this so well. Well, 1v1v1 for the 39 kill win. It's crazy we're disappointed by a 39 kill win. But it's always going to be what could have been the first 40 bomb win in history for the solo victory finals. 1v1. We know how it ends. Does he at least hit a clip? How do we take him down? All right, little chop. Yep, big pump. No not happy. Oh, no. 39 no. kill win for Reed, though. My good no God. Way, bro. That was one of the best games in Fortnite history. I'm just saying it. Oh, my God.